Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sochil. If you are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can keep up with all of my videos. Today, I wanted to do my favorite fall lipsticks. I just did my favorite nude lipsticks, lip liners, and glosses, and it's officially fall now, so I was feeling the fall vibes and wanted to bring out the vampy lips course I wear vampy lips all season long whenever you feel like it definitely have a lot of colors to go through so in the beginning I just want to show you all of the lip swatches and just so you can see the shades on my lips for those of you who are here just for that and then at the end I actually just want to talk about some of the formulas in case you guys are interested for those of you who love a matte maybe don't prefer a matte you want something creamier maybe something a little bit shinier and just so you can kind of help make your decision as to what lipstick you're going to pick out. I definitely have a nice a mixture of colors so we can kind of go down the line together. Maybe those of you who aren't into the vampy lips quite yet, but you want to transition in there, there's definitely still some fall options from like the nude browns with a little bit more of an amp up look to them, some more mauves, some berries, and some nice deep shades. So if you guys want some great new lipsticks to add to your fall shopping list, then just keep on watching. you guys enjoyed those lip swatches and found at least one color that you just need to add to your lipstick collection this fall course drag it out into the winter time love me a good berry shade but these i feel like are definitely going to be my go-to's for fall and i've definitely added a couple of new ones which i'm like obsessed with and also rediscovered some really great oldies but goodies that i never really like kind of played with as much i'm just like what the heck those are definitely the Maybelline part of the Intimates nude line. This collection, I've had this for a while, and for sure, brown blush was definitely my jam. It's definitely a cooler tone, a brown blush color, and I feel like every skin tone can pull this off, but as well as Toasted Truffle and Raw Chocolate are definitely new favorites of mine too, especially especially with like a brown lip liner just to enhance those lips whether it's a much deeper of a brown or something just subtle and just a hint darker than these shades 
I think you're gonna go gorgeous. So if you want like that fall type of nudie brown, I think you're going to love the Maybelline collection. These are definitely a creamy matte. They're matte, they're not over drying, but very, very creamy glide onto the lips. Honestly, none of these tug on the lips. Even the matte ones are definitely creamier. But because of that, these are not gonna be transfer proof. They're gonna last a little bit longer but they're not gonna be kiss proof. We have some options that are kiss proof, but these you're probably gonna have to reply a little bit more, but that's what you're kind of getting with that creamy feeling. So the next type of formula is the Milani Amore Satin Matte. We have the Amore Matte Lip Creams. These are more satin matte lip creams, a liquid lipstick form, but these do not fully dry down matte, which I actually have been enjoying. For those of you who have been on this super duper matte liquid lipstick train with me, these are like a breath of fresh air where you still kind of get the pigmentation payoff of a liquid lipstick but these are not going to dry out your lips once again not going to be transfer proof but if you want to mix it up this is going to be a great option so the colors classic elegant and indulge it's definitely a nice type of transition here where you have kind of like your mauvey everyday pink i think everybody needs this shade classic that's what it is a classic mauve everybody needs a shade in their life it's gonna look a beautiful mix it up with the lip liner but then you maybe have more of your play it safe but still kind of mixing it up I think for me especially with the shade indulge number 08 I honestly thought that I lost it and I was like oh my god I was crying I was like I'm gonna need to buy another one but I had just you know put it away in my other lipstick collection because I have multiple lipstick collections indulge for those of you who want to try out that more like terracotta -y, more orange type of a nude you kind of want to play it safe but you want to try it out and you're gonna love it it's kind of got some hints of pink in there so it's not totally orange but for those of you who like me aren't warm tones and you know you can pull this color off this was a great transition a good kind of introduction to like those more like red terracotta oranges which then led me to love the number 11 elegance from the Amore satin matte line I think you're gonna find so many great fall colors in this line and the formula is gonna be very very comfortable next we have something like the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipsticks these are going to be your more traditional matte liquid lipsticks but once again these aren't overly drying they stay matte these are kiss proof but depending how hard you're making out <laughs> you might need to reapply but I like that it doesn't feel like it flakes off on my lips in general I just feel like I don't really need to reapply but if you're gonna be eating and drinking you might want to do a check-in here or there but I just love Veronica and trust issues I feel like if you want to start getting vampy going with Veronica first play it safe this is like your safe transition to vampy mauve and then you can kind of get more into trust issues but if you want to just jump right in go with trust issues back to these kind of like orangey type of nudes with like a hint of color like a brown orange this you need in your life color pop collaboration with i love sarai softy mm, 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 mm. like this everybody needs to try like even from a light skin tone to deep skin tone in between i think this is gonna look gorgeous on you this was also one of my like i don't know if i can pull that off color but i kept seeing it i was like yes you're going to pull it off i want you to buy this next time you go color pop online and you're gonna pull it off just wear it with confidence if you're not sure everybody's gonna love it i am definitely going to need to repurchase this color this is definitely one of those i don't want to wear anything on my eyes just a liner and a lipstick and it looks great this is one of those i want to glam it up with some pop of a lipstick and it's gonna look great i feel like it's not too much but it's also not lacking it's weird but I think everybody is going to look beautiful in a shade like this. ColourPop, I love Sarai. This is their ultra matte from ColourPop. But I feel like this is one of those reformulated ultra matte ColourPop lipsticks. Because I will admit, their first collection of ultra matte was definitely a little bit more a drying kind of maybe would crack off. But I feel like they've reformulated and their ultra mattes are way more comfortable. Plus, if those of you love mariscos, this is my go-to mariscos lipstick. And even if it like does fade off because you know you've got like those oils and the chile kind of going on there, it's like a subtle kind of fade off. It still kind of blends in with my lips. If I need to, just go in and reapply. Love it. 
you need to get it. The next collection, Sephora Lip Stains. If you have not tried Sephora Lip Stain Lipsticks, you need to. Their collection of colors is massive. I feel like it's always growing. Every time I go into Sephora, they have more colors, but I feel like you're gonna find a color for you. It's not possible to leave Sephora and not find a color for you, or at least dabble into the lip stain collection and not at least have at least five colors in your hand and you know leave with one i love the price of the sephora lip stain lipsticks are definitely the cheapest lipstick once again this formula is not full on matte it's very similar to like maybe milani's a more satin matte lipstick collection so if you really like that formula you're going to love this this is definitely for those of you who don't want a super overly drying matte lipstick so once again not going to be transfer proof but these colors are gorgeous. I have these shades number 24 and 14. Oh, I love them so much for just fall, going out, nighttime, vampy. Gorgeous. And honestly, I need to go to Sephora and check out their, like, you know, nude lipsticks. But especially when I see what they got going on in the brown department. I'm really feeling brown this fall. And I'll tell you one color, my new one, that I was like, mm, I can't wait to rock this real quick. But you need to check out these Sephora lip stains. If you're one of those where it's like, I just I just want to buy something at Sephora, but I don't want to break the bank, I think you can always leave happy with one of these new lip stains to add to your Sephora lip stain collection. Next, we have the Milani Amour Matte Lip Cream, their original matte lip cream. This one is my go-to for the fall. I have to wear it at least once, more like at least five times during the fall time this is the shade number 32 emotion i'm gonna put a disclaimer this might or might not still be available i couldn't find it on the milani website but when i google it online amazon i could find it but also walmart i found a link i'll put it next to it hopefully you can because this is definitely the brown that got me into brown lipsticks before i was into brown lipsticks before when i was afraid of brown lipsticks i love it because it just has like that reddish terracotta undertone to it to the brown so it doesn't make it intense it just kind of it's like a burgundy brown kind of mixed in there so it's a great transition into the browns how many times can i say brown but i love it so much so if you can get your hands on it i think i think walmart still has it but it was worth mentioning if not i would probably jump on amazon and try to get it because love it but once again definitely they're more mattifying formula which i honestly don't mind i love it i think one of my favorite drug one of my favorite because i've got another one one of my favorite drugstore liquid matte lipstick formulas i think my other favorite is definitely flower beauty i need them to come out with some more vampy colors though more vamp please so this is a new obsession i needed to run out and get it and no regrets so far putting it on even less regrets worth it totally worth it this is the new nyx lingerie push up lipsticks so they've had their liquid lipsticks which i believe i had bought one but those liquid lipsticks honestly for me just felt really dry i don't know if they reformulated but this is definitely more of like the lipstick crayon type of a look to it i have mine this one is in the shade teddy everybody needs this for the falls between teddy i think and after hours but i kind of like that they kind of do have this point so you can combine them use a lip liner but these are nine dollars and i didn't want to buy two nine dollars of these i had a coupon too but instead i bought a lip liner to go with it because i needed a dark brown lip liner and i picked up the shade downtown beauty so i need to do a combo of this check my instagram i'm probably going to do that next but this formula I really enjoyed. It was definitely a very, very creamy matte formula. So it doesn't look like a wet, creamy matte look. It's definitely a matte, creamy. It glides on beautifully. I love that you kind of have the points so you can draw around your lips. If maybe you don't want to use a lip liner, you can get those nice defined edges. And it's got like a weird, almost like plumping kind of effect to it. I don't know, was that from something else? But that's definitely what I felt but I cannot wait to rock this color. Very, very comfortable matte, and I love that you can kind of, you know, see the shades on here. The next lipstick formula I want to talk about is the ColourPop Luxe Lipsticks. I love the packaging. First off, these are like $7, $8. I think they just raised the price on me, though. 
but still very affordable in the shade 27 beautiful fall lipstick now these i guess depending also on the formula they've added maybe different formulas now the number 27 though was one of their originals so it's not matte this is definitely a creamier formula you're definitely going to get a bit of that sheen a bit of that shine out of this lipstick but i don't mind i would definitely say something like this or any i feel like especially vampy shade add a lip liner any lipstick in general add a lip liner define those lips make them look bigger and juicier especially if you're wearing a matte lipstick make them look good but this one even though it's not like a matte look i still very much enjoy it i feel like especially for this color it's just something a little bit different from your traditional brown lipsticks it's got like a nice little mix to it it's like a brown with like hints of burgundy in it gorgeous you're going to love it so if you want a very affordable fall lipstick definitely check out the ColourPop luxe lipstick collection and i feel like they're always adding more colors so definitely check and see if they have some other formulas to work with next is a favorite you need this if you have not picked it up elf matte lipsticks these are like four bucks very affordable this one is in the shade deep burgundy every time i put it on i fall in love with it yet again so creamy nice a matte formula not full on matte i feel like these traditional lipsticks they're not gonna be transfer proof if not i feel like it would suck the life out of your lips but very comfortable wear a lip liner i love this color if you want a beautiful burgundy shade get this if you want something where it's like i'm not trying to go totally vampy want some burgundy in my life go with elf if you're experimenting with colors try an elf lipstick i feel like you really enjoy it and it'll help kind of transition you and if guess what it doesn't work out it's not for you you only spent like four bucks so it's totally worth it last a lipstick formula one i'm wearing on my lips today a newer one to me when i picked up that other lip lingerie lipstick i was like this one i need this in my life and especially for this video but I'm feeling it. Oh, it's kind of like matching my nails too. Oh my God. But oh my God. So I in general love the suede, either lipstick, the liquid lipstick and the lip liner line from NYX. And they kind of have this traditional lipstick line now. Very matte. This is definitely a more matte formula. The most matte formula of these like traditional lipsticks that I have shown you guys. It's one that's probably going to be the most transfer proof. I feel like it's definitely not transfer proof, but it feels like it's really like just on my lips. I don't have to worry about it moving around, but it's also not very overly drying. But the pigmentation, holy shit, this is like unicorn blood. This one is in the shade of vintage and it's like my new favorite for fall. But this is definitely more of a matte, matte traditional lipstick formula. So maybe with time, you might feel a little bit more drying. It's kind of what I'm sensing right now, but the color's totally worth it. <laughs> But applying it on my lips, I'm not like really tugging or trying to add layers on layers. I think it's just, oh, mm, gorgeous. Definitely check out this new suede lipstick line. Or if you want something more hydrating, they also have their suede liquid lipstick line, which is definitely more of a satin finish. And they also have the shade of vintage. I just feel like the traditional lipstick is just more pigmented. It's more potent. So I went for it, of course, with the vampy lip. I hope you guys enjoyed my favorite fall lipsticks for 2019. Of course, this could change in a couple more years. I might have to do a revamp version of this or even by next year. Who knows? especially since lines are always coming out with more and new colors that I need to try. Or in general, I just feel like I'm maybe more comfortable when I try out some other colors. Definitely the beauty game, your personal like makeup journey changes and evolves. And mine has definitely evolved because I feel like maybe five years ago, I probably wouldn't have talked about like half these colors. It probably would have been like all like mauve shades, <laughs> basic as a mauve shades. But here we are. Comment down below if any of these are your favorites or if one of these caught your eye and you need to pick them up. I like that I kind of have a mixture of drugstore and high end if you want to kind of dabble. But I feel like for me, for these like non everyday essential lip colors, I'm definitely going to lean a little bit more towards the drugstore because I was like, 
I'm not gonna wear this every day. <laughs> so in order for me to like purchase one that's gonna cost me like 20 plus dollars, I really have to love it or I had to have been in a mood for shopping or one of those oopsies while you're shopping online at Macy's type of a deal. So that's probably where more of these high-end shades came from. But in general, I just wanna show you the drugstore knows what's up. There's definitely a lot of options there. So let me know if you are picking any of these up or if there's some colors that I did not mention that I need in my life, please share. I need to go shopping. I need to add to my collection as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time.